In this video, we're gonna show you the top real use cases for GHL's voice AI. And don't be fooled by these automation gurus that tell you to do all these crazy complex things, get it to trigger here, this workflow, that. It is absolute nonsense. And actually working in the field with real businesses for the last year and a half and coaching other agency owners, these are the top uses that we actually see. So first one being, Missed calls. I, I think what? this one's missed calls. Missed calls. Okay. Absolutely beautiful. So let's start off. Let's let's start off with the bangers. Missed calls. So but the gurus say you need to like check into their social security, tap into the yeah. real estate index. No, and I think stocks. And we're, we're wrong. They're right. Right. I think yeah. you should go watch their. They no, got no, no. YouTube videos, not clients. Okay, you're right. Yeah. So missed calls are important, right? Like, it's as simple as that. It's as simple as going to your your local HVAC electrician plumber they're getting a bunch of calls because imagine this you're a local HVAC and you're probably slumped with so much work you're you're jam piled with paperwork and other clients and current and, clients and invoices and HVAC and, stuff and HVAC and the H's stuff. and the V's and we, the A's and the C's and, and, and <laughs> that stuff um and then you're you're trying to answer the phone at the same time right so imagine if we could have a 24/7 a uh, voice AI assistant that answers literally every single call, depending on when you want to set the availabilities and hours. There's a whole video about how to actually build it and do all that other stuff. Go watch that as well. All of that stuff can be handled without you having to pick up the phone. You can have appointment reminders. You can have appointments booked. You can have, you know, uh, uh, like an automation sent so they can go fill out a quote or whatever it may be, all with this one voice AI assistant. So the first use case is going to be as simple as it sounds, just following up or just answering the missed calls, right? So again, we can go into our phone availability. We're in the agent settings and I wanna show you really, really quick how easy this would be to set up. We go to phone availability and right here we have this awesome little button, enable AI agent as a backup to the phone number or number pool. So I'm an HVAC. I got, I got, a, I got an HVAC business, I'm an HVAC business guy. Speaking of which, can you look at our AC? I might. I, you got it. It's, it's got a little drip going I, on. I, I might get dirty, you know. <laughs> um, and I have my phone connected to to Go High Level, right? So all of the calls that are coming to Go High Level, they're going to get forwarded to me, right? They're going to get forwarded to me. But I'm busy. I'm up. I'm up there, twelve feet up in the air, work, working on Jeff's uh, air conditioner that has a little leak on it. You think I'm answering the phone 12 feet in the air, hovering above this, this unit all? I hope not. We ain't got workers comp like this. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no insurance. You'll see how he has me out here. Um, but I'm not answering the phone. The business owner's not. It's, he's going to let it go to voicemail. Imagine if we didn't have to let it go to voicemail. Imagine if we had an AI assistant that would just answer the call for them automatically. It rings a couple times before they can hang up. Who's going to answer? Chloe? We'll say Chloe. Chloe, most likely. Chloe. Yeah. Chloe's going to answer because we have Chloe set up on the back end to answer those questions. So all it is as simple as turning this button on, clicking this drop down. Of course, you have to have a number selected and you would pick whatever phone number we want this AI to live on. Right. So this phone number right here that we have set up, and of course it's blurred out. We have this phone number set up specifically for the reason if somebody calls this number, our voice AI is going to be there 100% of the time, regardless of Charles can't get to the phone because he's 12 feet in the air messing with an air conditioner unit. Does that make sense? Is that English or should yeah, I? It makes sense. Yeah. Right. It turns one of those phones ringing. Oh, sh to Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I can just work on <laughs> Crank, crank away. Crank away. I have no clue how to work on air conditioners. Uh, but yeah, so that's number one is missed calls. So if you're doing missed calls, you can set this up for a business and you can help them with their missed calls. Yep. So the next one is uh, probably our favorite. And to be mm -hmm. honest, like you can do this with conversational AI, like chat, text-based AI. And we do a lot of that, uh, but you can also do this with a phone or voice AI. So um, you're going to talk about lead qualification from opt-ins from ads. Mm -hmm. And this is, this is some secret sauce here because not a lot of people talk about this because most of the gurus talk about the prompting and stuff that you can do behind a computer when you have no clients and Red Bull and ChatGPT and all that stuff. But when you actually have clients, one of the most popular things that we do for our clients, in fact, probably 90% of our clients we got just by doing this is lead qualification from opt-ins mm -hmm. from ads. Mm -hmm. Magic sauce. Like so there's two ways to do this, right? We'll give you, I'll give you two options. We have the fortune, and again, if you're watching this video and it's different and you already have access to Outbound, awesome. We have beta access to Outbound Voice oh, AI. Fancy, huh? Fancy, huh? <laughs> I hit the Dougie. All right, so I open this up. I'm going to open this one workflow. I made this specifically for this. Imagine we have a business. It's a, you know, we'll go back to Charles HVAC, right? And we're running ads on Facebook, and these leads are going to this form, and they're opting in. 
When they opt in, depending on the time of day, we can have a voice AI automatically reach out to them. Right, I gotta change this number, it's Chloe. We have an, a voice AI, between the hours of 10 a.m. and 6 p.m., we have Chloe automatically calling these leads that are opting in for more information about this HVAC business. Boom, right? So, and then Chloe's job now is to just qualify them and then either send them an invoice, do all of this cool custom stuff if we wanted to, or just book them on a follow-up call or book them on a, a, an in-person quote an in-person estimate, whatever we want to do, we can absolutely do that with this outbound voice AI and having Chloe reach out, ask a couple questions and then book an appointment, send a link to get a quote or whatever it may look like. Yeah. And, and, and if you're seeing this early, first mm -hmm. off, thank you for watching our videos when they first drop. But um, if you have access to voice AI outbound, really cool thing that you can do. Um, big thing that I always say, though, is um, make sure you set expectations like with your clients, like somebody does opt in, have them make a video or at least put here. Here's what's going to happen. You're going to call from mm -hmm. our whatever if you want to call it an AI or our assistant or AI et cetera. Assistant, yeah. But just set that expectation that they're going to be getting a call. And they got to go through that call process before they can book that on-site estimate or that consultation or whatever it is. The other thing you can do if you don't have voice AI outbound right now, again, conversational AI, and we probably have a video somewhere on our channel um, for lead qualification with conversational AI because that's mm -hmm. been our bread and butter forever. Um, but you can also, again, set the expectation. Somebody opts in for a lead or purchases something. Step one, do this. Step two, call this number mm -hmm. and basically have an inbound call and, again, have the voice AI qualify from there mm -hmm. as an extra layer or qualification uh, process to get better quality leads for your clients. So. Yeah, so going back to the uh, part two of what Jeff just explained is actually allowing the customer to call this number to book their appointment, right? So first it was we had the voice AI reaching out to book. Then we also have, okay, they opt in. We just give them this number right here. They're going to call this number. Who are they going to reach? They're going to reach uh, Chloe, who is a, a voice AI assistant, who's going to be able to answer the inquiries, qualify them, and actually book them on an appointment. So there's two options there. Um, but yeah, that's absolutely huge, absolutely beautiful. We've done this on the conversational AI side, very, very hefty and a lot. And, so the voice AI side, it's going to be And huge. it's easy, like, because, um, I mean, you can have clients that, like, when as soon as you opt in, the next step is, like, hey, call to book your appointment mm -hmm. and call and talk to our AI booking appointment mm. system, et cetera. You know, you can call it something sexier, but um, literally, like, just make it part of the process. People will do it. And if you set the expectation, you'll get people that call. And the ones that don't go through it, they're typically not as good a quality. But just imagine a world where, now you're getting better quality leads because people are opting in. They're going through a whole qualification process via voice AI. Mm -hmm. And the people that are ending up on your client's calendars are actually qualified. They have more information, more ammo to actually close that client into whatever it is they sell. Again, I can't overstate how much sauce that is. We don't usually share that type of stuff, but um, you can use that to your advantage. And again, while the gurus are trying to get you to do crazy things. This is the basic <laughs> stuff that works that moves the needle for businesses. Oh. Awesome. And then the next one is going to be number three, and it's going to be similar to appointments, but not actually booking the appointments. So we're going to be using AI to do appointment reminders. And again, this is with outbound. With uh, outbound. So when you have access to outbound, this is something we've been testing and it's very cool. Yes. So. And this was actually talked about in our private mastermind with some of our, our group members. They actually mentioned like this would be a really good use case for it. So we started testing it. And we it agreed. Like, <laughs> we agreed. And we agreed. And I was like, this is awesome. So imagine this. Imagine a world where you uh, book an appointment on a calendar and instead of just getting these regular text messages and oh your appointments in 24 hours oh these regular emails that are the ghl template and you're, you know we'll see you this tomorrow actually, the new business that we're getting ready to do that podcast with this would probably be good the salon it's like salon this would be a really cool thing yeah so imagine they book and they book their let's talk about a salon i, I you know i want to go get my i just got my hair cut i want to get it done again now yeah i'll get it i'll get extensions so. yeah yeah you'd look good with extensions Put in the comments that Charles should get extensions. <laughs> so I go and I, I book my uh, my salon. I need to go get a haircut. I need to go get my hair done, whatever it may be. And instead of getting these regular texts and emails like, hey, your appointment's tomorrow. Hey, your appointment's and whatever, whatever. We can have our voice AI reach out to them to confirm that they're going to be available for our appointment, our scheduled appointment. That's fancy. That is fancy. That's luxury, dog. Oh, you fancy, huh? <laughs> oh, you fancy. So imagine that. Again, we, we take this automated, regular, smeggler, see you tomorrow, regular tech. Right these days. All they have to do is click yeah. on the button, and there, there goes Chloe. Hey, Jessica, I just wanted to reach out and just make sure that you're all good. We're all set for tomorrow's appointment at X time. Any questions before then? Oh, did you make sure to do this, 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 and this pre-selling them? Yeah. 
come on. Yeah, pre-protocol. Pre-protocol. There's so many, so many cool things. We got to test this with more of the clients too. Absolutely. So yeah. that is an absolute amazing uh, method or little thought process right there as far as getting the appointment reminders to take it from text, take it from email to actually go to the phone as well. And, and real quick, like I really want to stress on this stuff, like these are such basic uses yeah. of this stuff, but because it's so new, nobody's doing it. Mm-hmm. People are used to the text reminders, the email reminders, like I don't know about you, but a lot of us are immune to those things. Yeah. I mean, the vet last week had texted me and I didn't even like think, do you got to press Y to confirm it? Da, 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 like all that stuff. Like this stuff is so new and unique that mm-hmm. businesses need it. Also, this is the type of stuff that maybe a person was manually doing this mm-hmm. and now they can save time. And this makes this more valuable because now they don't have to pay that person to do that. Now that person can do other things in the business that actually move the needle. So I was literally huge. just about to add that majority of the clients we recommend is we also recommend giving them a call as well. Even after they book an appointment. Even yeah, like after they book an appointment, point. we, add, we add that extra touch point. So again, removing the manual aspect and allowing, you know, our front desk assistant, our front desk team member to greet the customers and, and focus on the people who are in the business, allowing the voice AI to handle the rapport building on the back end. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely huge. Okay. And our last one, our last one here, Jeff came up with this one. Jeff, you know, Jeff got the mind. He's crazy. <laughs> so it's going to be post-purchase, right? So we're thinking about somebody making a sale, somebody buying something from somebody. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Talk po- to post, him. post really anything. Like um... I'm going to build it while he's talking. So I'm going to go slow, but as he's talking and explaining it, I'm going to build a quick little reference. Yeah. Two things you can do. Like, uh, so somebody, let's just say somebody does book an appointment. Um, obviously you can have appointment reminders, but you could also immediately after booking the appointment, give them a courtesy call, say, Hey, these are the things we need to make sure you do to maximize results. Like the instance I'm thinking of for this one in particular was, um, with our body contouring clients, you know, people need to be hydrated, not drink alcohol 24 to 48 hours before. Um, we could literally be calling to make sure that they get that information just in case they didn't watch that video. So again, post an action, post an appointment being booked, but also post purchase. Now we do a lot of like low ticket products. I'm sure you've probably seen our ads. If not, you might not have a phone. I don't know, but <laughs> how are you uh, watching this YouTube video? video? <laughs> uh, no, I'm just joking though. <laughs> but like, imagine like you know somebody purchases something, whether that's a low ticket product, whether that's a mastermind, whether they watched a uh, webinar of yours, and now you can do these post webinar interviews, post purchase follow ups. Hey, Jeff, just wanted to see, did you get access to your stuff? Okay, cool. Have you ch- got a chance to go through it? Have any recommendations for us? Da 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 da. Like these are things that we have manual people doing right now. And it's funny because like we, we do this stuff manually and then people message like, oh, is this a bot or like, oh, am I talking to a bot? And sometimes they're even upset that like we're not using bots for this yeah. stuff. Um, but we do have the manpower to do it with humans. Most businesses do not. And it's something that is uh, we always like to provide like white glove service. Mm-hmm. Um, it is a very luxury type experience when somebody purchases something, especially even a low ticket product. Um, where you follow up with a post-purchase call, just making sure they got access to mm-hmm. it. And if not, that could probably trigger a workflow or an mm-hmm. action to let somebody on your team know to make sure they get access. And just try to mitigate customer service um, you know, issues, but then also elevate the customer experience um, just all the way around. And at the time of shooting this, I would say GHL's voice AI is good enough to do that. There is, you know, depending on the day, sometimes there's a little latency. Mm-hmm. And again, the automation gurus, the high level bros that talk about, you know, latency and why you should use these third party softwares. Real customers don't care about that stuff as much as you think. Like we have we've been using voice AI for a little bit in the last few weeks. It's gotten really good. Before yes. that, there was a little bit more of a latency. We still didn't have customers complain. You know, who complains the marketers that have no clients that have time to play with this stuff all day long. Mm-hmm. They complain about this stuff. But real people don't care if you set the expectation properly. And I guess the other thing, I'm ranting now. Go but, for it. <laughs> go for it. Talk to them. But, but the other thing is like, um, don't sell this to people with the intention of it mimicking a human. Like, that's the other thing I see people like, oh, it doesn't even sound human. Duh, idiot. Like, I'm not trying <laughs> to get this thing to sound like a human. I'm trying to help them move the needle in their business. Like, sorry, like the comments I see on some of these ads are just so, so stupid. Funny. And they're by a guy that has been struggling for six years with high level and has like <laughs> half a client that's a cousin that doesn't pay them. Like, it's true. It so it's again, true. sorry if I'm striking a nerve with anybody, but like um, when we tell you like the stuff that we're showing you, this stuff moves mountains for businesses. Mm-hmm. It's simple. Clients are happy with the experience that they're getting. They're happy with, you know, just the extra touch points. And it does minimize a lot of extra work that is needed to run a successful business and provide all this cool stuff. So, um, yeah, sorry for ranting, but man, like it's just like 
The only people I ever see complain about yeah. this stuff are the people that are not doing they it. Have, they have the time on their hands. <laughs> yeah. And, and so don't let the small little tweaks and the small slight little issues deter you away from setting this up and rolling this out and actually going and landing clients. And don't try to do complex stuff. Don't this do is literally all we do for clients. And, and it's we, simple. <laughs> I'm sure there's other agencies that have more clients than us, but yeah. there's not many in the GHL space that, that has worked with more AI business or businesses with AI. Like yeah. Honestly, there may not be any. Yeah, that's it for this video. We talked about missed calls, how how we're setting up voice AI to handle the missed calls. We talked about lead qualification from opt-ins and how we would potentially be doing an outbound voice AI to qualify the the members and book those on appointments. We talked about using voice AI. Oh, and actually, and actually just having it book whether they're calling in as well, inbound voice AI. And then appointment reminders, setting up voice AI to make a call to remind somebody, hey, pre-protocol before your appointment tomorrow at 2 p.m. Want to make sure that you're ready to go. You've done this, this, and this. And then lastly, post-purchase to grab that extra rapport building, make sure that they have access to everything they purchased or they're ready to move forward with the product that they actually did. And you got a bonus rant from Jeff. Bonus so, rant from Jeff. Yeah, we're anti-fake gurus if you... Uh, I got to pay to get those, so, so you got it for free. <laughs> But that's it for this video, guys. We'll see you in another one. Later.